Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome back to my channel, Life's a Project. Now, I just actually came through the door, home from work, and on the way home, I was thinking I was out of my homemade granola bars, and just recently, I came up with this recipe, just wanting a homemade granola bar, so I know what's in it. I wanted to use just some ingredients I already had, healthier ingredients with no crazy additives and stuff like that, and so I wanted something a little chewy, a little bit crunchy, and so I think I came up with the perfect thing. Again, I just recently came up with it and I made it a few times now and I love it. So I think you're gonna love it. Like I said, super fast to make. It's a no-bake version, so super quick coming together and again, super yummy. So let's get to it. So again, this recipe is so easy and one of the reasons is that I just throw everything into my stand mixer here. I just kind of let it rip and then I put everything into kind of a baking dish and just kind of press it in and that's pretty much it. So we'll get to that here in just a minute. So I have all of my ingredients setting here and I use just, again, just use my stand mixer. I have the whisk attachment and pretty much I use the paddle attachment for everything, but it was dirty in the dishwasher and so I just kind of roll with the whisk attachment and it worked out perfectly and so that's just kind of how I do it so that it comes out the same way every time. Got my whisk attachment so the first thing is kind of the base of the granola bars and I'm just using some oats. So these are organic rolled oats and so you can see here so I'm using two cups of this. So I'll just throw in two cups. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can kind of eyeball it, you know. You're not gonna screw this up the first time I made it. I kind of paid attention to ratios, but I just kind of threw in some things that I like and it all came together. So again, two cups of the oats. And then next, I just love shredded coconut. So this is unsweetened coconut flakes. So I tried to just have things that didn't really have like added sugars and things like that. So I'm not gonna add any sugar or any salt, which I think makes it a lot healthier. So this, I just love this. So I'm gonna add in a half a cup. And again, it's not perfect. And then most of the ingredients now is going to be one fourth of a cup. So I love these organic pumpkin seeds. James and I put these on salads. They're a nice crunch and they actually have a little sea salt. So there's my salt. I don't have to add any extra. So I'm just gonna put about a fourth of a cup of this. So I just use half of this half cup, throw that in. And then I love chopped pecans. I had some on hand and so I'm just gonna put in one fourth of chopped pecans. And then after that, another little crunchy thing that I love that has kind of a, you know, chocolate flavor to it is these cacao nibs. I just recently started using these. I really like them in this recipe. Um, and these are, you know, kind of coarsely ground cacao beans, unsweetened pure chocolate crunch. So love these for this kind of application. And so I'm just going to, again, just use these uh, one fourth a cup. And then I just kind of mix the two. So I, it was kind of like the first time trying these and these can be pricey. So I just bought these small containers in two different brands. And so I just picked up both of these and actually I kind of like both of them. And so I just kind of put a little bit of both in there. And then I just like cinnamon. Uh, recently I've been adding cinnamon to more and more things. And so I just kind of eyeball it. It's about like, I guess one fourth of a teaspoon to a half. And then I just kind of give this a little mix. Thank you. 
and now I add in something that kind of binds everything together and so I have some honey here that adds a little sweetness without adding kind of like pure like cane sugar stuff something like that or brown sugar and then I also add in some creamy peanut butter and this is just natural creamy peanut butter 100% peanuts that's the only ingredient so again no added you know sugars or sodium so I'm going to add in probably I just kind of eyeballed it but it pretty much is I would think I just put in it's a little messy because this is the kind that separates but it's super yummy and it works great for this recipe it does take a little bit to get it off the spoon then I kind of just give this a mix and as that's going I kind of drizzle in the honey so it looks like there's about you know a cup of honey in here I may use half of the amount that's in here so pretty much drizzle in a half a cup if it looks like you need a little more like it's too dry and not really you know wanting to hold together you can add a little more So I place the mixture into a baking dish lined with parchment paper and I like to use gloves if it's going to be messy in the kitchen and it's just so much easier to use your hands to press the mixture into the pan. Now once that's done, I just wanted to share with you too how easy it is to lift these out with the parchment paper so it makes it so easy to lift these out to cut them into bars later. Now what you want to do is to place this whole thing into the refrigerator for several Several hours if not overnight so that they really hold together and they're not crumbly and falling apart now I share with you here I only had them in the fridge for about 30 minutes which is not long enough for these to hold together so you'll see that after I cut them into bars uh, they are a little crumbly and try to fall apart but I like to cut them in bars like this like little squares and then put them into little zip bags and then you can kind of just grab them and go take them to work take them on a hike just whatever super easy now these are really good crumbly if you like granola crumbly to sprinkle on your yogurt and stuff like that you can do that with this as well but I like to eat them in little bars like this so what I do is just put these back in the refrigerator and I share with you what they look like later okay guys so it's actually the next day and I just want to share with you really quickly before James and I were about to go on a hike um, I wanted to show you how well those granola bars when you keep them refrigerated overnight how well that they hold together so this is out of the fridge the next day and you can see if you're missing James and I already stole a few to take on our hike but you can see this piece holds together so much better now that it's had time to chill and firm up a bit and you can see still really soft and chewy so they don't get hard they stay chewy and they're still real crunchy with the nuts and things you got to try this recipe I love it so guys, if you give this recipe a try, let me know how it worked for you in the comment section below if you liked it, maybe some things that you changed or switched up to make it your own. Let me know. I would love to read about it. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can check those out now and I'll see you later. Bye.